everyone, this is Bill McCown for SynergistCADblog.com. Uh, today we're going to take some pipes and we're going to loft them and then we're going to animate the uh, scale deformation to make it look like it's growing. So the pipe is actually looks like it's uh, following a path and growing. So I'm sure you've all seen those cool animations with the buildings that look like they're growing out of the ground. And uh, there's lots of different techniques to do that. Um, but today we're just going to focus in on this one technique, which is uh, using the loft to do uh, a scale deformation. Uh, maybe in another video we'll pick up some of those other methods. So first thing I'm going to do is start with a line, and I'm just going to draw a path so that we can have something for the pipe to kind of travel down. And I'll just make something like that. <clears throat> I want to rename all my parts. This is going to be pipe path. And uh, I think I want to just get in here and round some of these corners. So maybe put a fillet of one foot in there. And we need something to run down the pipe itself, a profile. So this is going to be our pipe profile. It's just nothing more than a circle. And all right, so I'm going to grab a hold of this. And under compound objects, we have loft. And if you've never used a loft, it's uh, two parts. There's a path, and then there's a shape. And the shape is can be 2D, uh, open or closed. I'm just going to do this shape here, and it runs down the path. So you can see it um, over here. <clears throat> All right, then I'm going to edit this. And these settings are fine. Uh, if, Again, if you've never used this, the uh, shape steps are how many steps there are in each between the vertices and the shape. And then the path steps are how many steps down the actual path. So the more steps down the path, the smoother that gets and the smoother it gets around the other way for the shapes. Um, and you can optimize them as well. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to put these uh, path steps up to about 10. And I'm going to open the scale deformations here. And all this is, is uh, it's telling us across our timeline from we have 0 to 100 frames set at zero frames it's a hundred percent scaled okay and at 100 frame 100 it's a hundred percent scaled so nothing has happened so um, first of all if I just move this down maybe you can see what's going on here so this is saying basically at frame zero scale it starting at nothing and go up to a hundred percent here so as I move Nothing's animated here. This is just one curve here. So it starts off at nothing and goes up to 100%. Uh, so I can type in here 100 to go back. All right, so what I want to do here is add some corner points. And it doesn't matter anywhere on the timeline. It's fine. Okay, and we just want to move these things down. Uh, so first of all, we have auto key on here. So, I'm going to set my move control points here. So that I'm just moving back and forth this way. And if I highlight one of these, I can move these around. Um, so, can highlight all four of them too. And I'm just going to move them down to zero. Now I could pull them down like this 
but I'm locked into moving them either uh, right or left at the moment. But I can always just type in here zero. So I've moved them down to zero now. Um, and you can see it's disappeared because now we have zero scale. So at zero, we're going to, at frame zero, we're going to do this. Uh, then we're going to move over to the uh, next frame here, which is going to be frame 100. And we're just going to do the exact opposite. We're going to move all of this stuff back up to 100. Okay, so we've got 0 and 100. And now I don't want the pipe to grow like this, so we've got to add some changes here. Um, frame 1. I'm just going to move this thing so that um, these work a little bit differently. Um, so we're all at zero here. I'm going to go take these to 100. So 100 at frame one. And make sure these are at zero. Okay, then I'm going to move to one frame before my finish here, 99. And I'm going to move those to zero, make sure they're at 100. Okay, um, still not really what we want here. We've still got some changes to make here. Uh, let's go back to frame zero, <clears throat> and we're just going to move this guy over to zero, this guy to zero, okay, and we want to go to frame 99, and we want to set frame 99 Again, just make sure that 100 or 0 and we're going to take the frame here and slide that over and this frame and slide it over so it looks like that Okay, and you can kind of see what's happening here as we move around. <laughs> we want to shift this on frame one to be 100% and this guy to be zero. All right, and what that's going to do for us is as we start moving, you can see it running down at the bottom here. As we start moving, it's going to come around like this. Okay, so basically, the fact that that's straight up and down on our scale deformation, we're getting what we want here. And we want to do one more thing, and that is move that over and move that over. All right. There's what we want. <clears throat> now, it does give me a little something a little bit weird here to begin with. I don't like this kind of pencil point thing happening here. So, <clears throat> just going to tweak that a little bit. And you can zoom up on this thing a little bit. And what I want to do here is just <clears throat> move this so that I get rid of that.
thing happening here? It's just in there, somewhere in about there. All right. And maybe at frame five, slide that back some. All right. frame 10. So you don't have to tweak this, it's just I don't really like what's going on there. The very end of this thing. Alright, that's a little bit better. Let's see what we got here. And maybe Frame 50, move that back a little bit. All right, not too bad. And we're just going to center this up a little bit. All right, so that's pretty much it. We're just sliding this down along, it's following it around. Now, I want this to appear, let me get rid of this animation on this, I'm deleting the keyframes on this object here. Um, yeah, so what I want to do is, as soon as the pipe hits this, which looks like it's about yeah, somewhere around frame 49, we want this to start appearing. So, for this piece, what I'm going to do is, since this isn't a loft, um, you can see it's an editable poly, um, I'm going to animate this a slightly different way. Um, it's assigned just a standard material. And what I want to do here is just animate this... Um, animate the opacity and you can see um, it should be zero here to start. The problem is um, anything with red around it is starting to be animated and you can see it's I'm going to delete that. It's animated here. It starts off at zero and we could make these zero and zero. Um, so the specular level and the glossiness, if you don't have that at zero, you're going to see this kind of ghosting happen in here. Um, it's going to pick up a reflection, um, like a glossy reflection here, um, even though it's 100% uh, transparent. So probably want to animate these as well, or just leave them off, you could leave it like a flat material. Um, so as the pipe gets through, here, let's say, um, or maybe even here, uh, we want to animate that to 100%. So it goes from here when the pipe just touches it from zero and it animates to 100 at frame 54. Um, just a really simple animation there. Um, and again, you have to be careful with the specular level and the glossiness that if that's set, you're going to see a ghosting here, um, and we don't want to see anything um, here. So as we come up, we don't want to see anything until about frame 49, and then it starts to appear. Okay, okay, that's about it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Until then. You are